so desperate on my own, my knees to break And I hear the voice of an angel Telling me not to lay down What's up everybody? Much love to all of y'all listening in This is Mario from The Root of All Real uh, we're, Today we're going to talk about a few things that are of importance but uh, i'd like to give a shout out to everybody here on the around the table let's start off with uh, my boy here ralph what's hey, up hey what's going on and next here in line is hobby best friend and uh, what's up y'all and oh. my homie right here henry what's up boy what it do what it do one two his first <laughs> time his first time on here you know so. oh yeah man well yeah. we'd like to welcome you brother yeah. with uh, open arms man much love and uh, today's subject, we're going to talk about uh, life without social media. How do y'all think y'all would cope without social media? How do y'all think, what do y'all think life would be like without it? What would you accomplish without it? Uh, do you think you could get more done without it? Or is that actually a downside? Maybe you can actually get more done with social media. Yeah. But uh, to start it off, uh, I'm a... Pick it up with you, Javi. What do you think life would be like without social media? I, I ain't gonna lie to you, Mario, right off the bat, bro. In my opinion, man, I feel like the way that technology is, and uh, if you look at it, it kind of handicaps the way we used to be because uh, you used to be be able to remember phone numbers. If you look at a dial tone, you look at the phone number thing, you can just, oh, remember, round number 832, this and that. It's like we had but more now it's like, Hey don't be throwing my number yeah, out there man yeah. <laughs> No it's just an area code You know just representing You know For the 713 basically so, yeah, uh, yeah You know what I mean But my, my point is that You don't need to do that no more Because all you need is your phone Everybody has their phone now mm -hmm. What do people do without their phone now, man? They it's feel like they're lost. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's bad. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That it shows you that the, the phones are controlling you. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. People you, pay bills with it. Mm -hmm. People download apps to pay different bills and this and that. It's like technology is just off the door, man. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. To me, I kind of put it in simple words. It kind of handicaps your mind, man. Like everything's done for you. In the, in the touch of a button, man. You mm -hmm. don't need to be... You buy pads and this and that. We don't have none of that, man. None of that, mm -hmm. man. So. No, when we were growing up, we didn't have none of that shit, yeah. man. We were fucking looking at the sun for the time. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, uh, but uh, I think that in a way it does help you, though, because yeah. you, you get to stay connected with your family. Yeah. That, uh, friends. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there's a downside to it because that you're only texting. You're not... No longer like communicating over the yeah. phone. You know what's funny more is that like that's that's the problem now. You know, like you can't you can't connect with nobody, man. Like yeah. old school ways, you know. Back then, like we we're all born in the eighties. Well, I don't know about you, Henry, but we we're all born in late for me, eighty eight. So, yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> like even back then, like when I would talk to girls when I was in high school, they would send they would write notes. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Write notes. Go ahead, Henry. Go ahead. What's crazy is that. You know how Rob would just say he don't know about me. That's facts. You know I understand. I'm a I'm a 93 baby to be exact. But uh, <laughs> I will say this: me growing up, we didn't have. Oh, I'm a text you. What's up, bro? No, summertime. I, I rode a bike to your house. Bikes was the way to us to come yeah. outside and chill. Bikes was like the way for us to find out if you're home or not. Well, mm. I remember I used to ride a bike to my friend's house, knock on his door. If he answer. Bring your ass outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not there, then all right, I'll go to the next homie's house. <laughs> and like, my point is with like social media, if it works for you, it works for you, but it can also hurt you and curse you. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're doing nothing with yourself on social media, then you're wasting time. And yeah. I mean, that's just another subject for another day. But <laughs> but yeah. my point is this: like social media, bro. I mean, Ralph made a good point. Javi made a good point. If you get addicted to it in the wrong way, you could become obese. And that's oh, when your yeah. health kicks in. That's when your health kicks in. And that's when you realize, like, wow, this is making me fat. This is making me have chest problems. Mm -hmm. But if social media is good to you where you're working out, you're like, damn, this is making me fit. This is making me healthy. Yeah. So it just all depends how you use social media, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. hey, at the end of the day, is your will. Yeah. Yeah. If you use it for ill will. Bad stuff will happen. Yeah. Use it for goodwill. 
you'll make money because I'm sorry, social media is now the market for you to get rich. Yep. Yeah, all these, it does, yeah. yeah, all Big these time. up and coming rappers, all they did was make a Instagram video and flowed. Now they're making millions on millions. TikTok, uh, Spotify, hey, even whatever. even TikTok, even TikTok, you can get. Yeah. Okay, exactly A whole yep. bunch of subscribers TikTok, and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dances are becoming viral Yeah Stupid scenes are becoming legit Like you're yeah. like What the mm-hmm. like, Okay But Back in our time That wasn't it Yeah Back in our mm-hmm. time If you were a social media guy You were looked at funny <laughs> You'll be like Damn bro You one of them like You know Photogenic ass dudes Like you <laughs> yeah, know yeah. You know You want to make videos And record stuff Snitch yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah, Something like yeah. that <laughs> But now <laughs> He's a snitch. That's cool Now man You could Hey If you're a social media bluff yeah. You're like this shit Like Everybody yeah. wants to hang with you Everybody wants to be on your vlog Your live You know your video So yeah. to answer Mario's question I mean um, It's just all how you use it brother you Yeah, I mean? yeah that, that's, it. That, that's Good point man It's all how you use it bro And uh, to what Javi was saying, man, like before social media, a lot of this stuff that came up, we used to be able to memorize a lot of stuff, a lot of information. But now it's a lot more difficult to like remember all these little things, phone numbers, addresses, hmm. uh, yep, yep. the names of uh, people even sometimes. Yeah. Fucking uh, you got to look up on social media the, the people's face just to remember their face. Even. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's one of the downsides. Times change. Yeah, that's Time's one of the changed. downsides. But at the same time, you can make a business. You can make a living off of it, off of social media. You can monetize, like exercise, like Henry was saying. You know, people who get in a fit, they want to, you know, start an exercise program. They'll, yeah, they'll have all these subscribers. Make following vlogs. Them. Yeah, vlogs. Yep. Everything, yeah. man. Yeah. Like uh, Javi, what do you, what do you think about people who like uh, live off, you know, making like a type of business out of it? social media you know uh i'm not gonna maybe i exaggerated too much by saying the word handicap you maybe it kind of makes it too easy for you now because it's like humans are uh evolving into something else man and it's it's part of technology man it's like you got cars that are driving by itself man but to your question it's like I was thinking, Mario, one thing I could give a point to technology and the way that things are now, imagine being in elementary with a smartphone, recording all the memories mm-hmm. from your elementary friends and mm-hmm. this and that. Go back and And then, you know, they're being 80, 80 years old. like a Straight A man, student. Take it back to that, man. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's different now, man. It's not a, in a bad way, but it's like, I feel like... Uh, Kids are learning the wrong things nowadays too early, man. But we gotta you, keep you, our you, values. You, you know, you think about it too. Is like you know, because I have a little girl, so you know, she's always sometimes she's always on the phone. When hey, you need to get out the phone. You got to do yep. different something, something different. You got to yeah, do something yeah. else. Yeah. So yeah, take the tablets away. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And really interact, it, interact, play with your yeah. toys. You know, that's what she does. Basically, too. Yeah. you know, I think where you know a back door on what Javi's saying. I, I feel like he's trying to say that. Back then, if you were good at your craft, you had to work for it. Yeah. You had to show physically where you were at. Now everything's a mental game. Yeah. Now you can say some stuff on social media and get rich the next day. Yeah. So time to make money got lazy. People got lazy now. Yeah. And yeah. It's too easy. Yeah, it's too easy, yeah. but it's also bad because now you see on, you know, not going off subject, but now you see on a doctor health ratings, there's more people obese. There's more people with diabetes. There's yeah. more people with sleep paralysis like you're using this time to make money but you don't see what's it doing to you physically people yeah. think just because you don't work out but you eat right you're healthy no you're not you need sun that's vitamin d yeah. and you need to walk so don't let social media cripple you yeah and that's facts you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah oh, you, you know, know and it's kind of sad when you think about facebook in general yep you need Facebook to remember people's birthdays. Okay, so you got yeah, you that's, got, that's true. Yeah. You got a thousand friends, mm. but you don't know nobody's birthday. Yeah, a few years ago, one of my boys from work said, "Thank you for telling me happy birthday. You remember it." Mm. And little does he know, no, I didn't. <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Facebook did it for me. At least you're honest, bro. Yeah. But it's honest. common sense. It's common yeah. sense. You don't remember nobody's birthday no more, man. You yeah. forget the little things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And the little things are the main things that, that count, count for people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Good, good point, Javi. Real good pretty. point. It, it's funny because like, you don't even see kids play outside anymore. Exactly. I Call think, of Duty. Call of Duty. I nah, think that Call of Duty. Everything. It's Fortnite. all in the way you you raise your your children. You gotta. Yeah. 
instill the right values with them yeah. and early on if you're gonna you know show them a tablet and all this stuff you gotta show them uh the values of family mm -hmm. family time uh mm -hmm. your goals how to be responsible all kinds of stuff like that man before even all you all the tablets all yeah. that stuff yeah. all the phones yep. all that social media stuff you gotta really instill to them the like the good values yeah. about family love yeah. things like that yeah. before you even you know try to get them on social media show them that it's still normal to go outside and play football or basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and get your knees scraped you know. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know what man for christmas this year i got my nephew it's a simple football for mm. christmas my sister Good said shit. they loved Good it shit. they loved it they go outside that's yeah. what we did we didn't we didn't fall down and break our arm. We went outside and we dealt with it. Get back up and go go have a good time. That's it. I can't remember the last time. I was always outside. I was always outside <laughs> when I was like 10, 15. You know, a little kid, five years yeah. old, six years old. I love Always being outside. outside. Yeah. Always outside. And we're Exercising, fine. moving around. You and know there's what I mean? nothing wrong with that at all, man. Yeah. Like, go to the Who park. remember those days when you were 15 and y'all would scrape up money to catch the bus to go to the movies? Yeah. As oh, some yeah. homies, oh, yeah. because y'all know the girls are going to yeah. be up there. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. And My the, point is, yeah. times are not like that no more. Now, yeah. kids, let me call an Uber. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. And again, sorry for the language, but uh, yeah. you know, I'm just saying, like, Again, technology just got advanced, but how, how, these kids how, got it easy. So, so yeah. how do you how do you feel about the dating experiences now? It's different. Um. Okay. Good question. Uh, right? uh, all the uh, dating apps not different. Yeah, a lot. That's smart. I mean, there's you know there's Tinder. There's this there's POF. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch of there's a lot. But apps. this is my you know I don't know. This is my point, but everybody has do their you own think, opinion. Do you, no, do you think it's better? or Do you think it's it's better if you're a weirdo and a loner, <laughs> but if you're a guy that's used to being social, yeah, this shouldn't be nothing for you because yeah. why not go out? Why not do it the old school way? Meet a girl who likes you for you because no offense, you could put a front behind the screen. Yeah, yeah. that's true. People you can be like, oh, that. I'm this, I'll I'm that. that. And that. then when she sees you, you'll be heartbroken if she don't like what you portray. You know what's funny? Girls, like even when I would message a couple girls here and there yeah. and I would talk to the voice thing, so you can hear my voice, yes, and they're sir. like, "Why are you sending that?" I was like, "What do you What do you mean? I'm sending the voice, like an actual voice, and my voice, like, you know, you're and comfortable white. with that." Yeah, I'm comfortable. But I don't like texting, bro. Straight up, I do not like texting. I'll text Facts. you once in a while, Facts. but like, yeah. if I'm trying to talk to you, you know what I mean? Like, I want to hear your voice, bro. Like straight up, like old school way. Old school way. Old I'm, school man, is it. the best way. Yeah. So there's no that's uh, that's for me. But, but you, know? you know, to bed to to bed door. What you said right there, Henry. In my opinion, bro, I have a girlfriend that I met through the dating app. And, okay. Uh, okay. Because I didn't, I didn't feel confident in myself to just go up to somebody in person and say, "What's up, girl? What am I gonna say? Like, how do you start? How do you get a pickup line? A good pickup line where you don't sound too cocky and too low, too much yes, self, yes, low sir. self esteem." Yeah. I think so, everybody's different, yeah. man. So yeah. but, you know, but everybody do it for different approach ways, it differently. In my opinion, some people just don't have time to go out and do this. Yeah. Maybe yes, they want to make it easier. Where you know what I'm gonna do? Say this is who I am. This yeah. and that. So you know, you know, just my opinion. You well, know, my answer so to that, that that's good though. That's good though, yeah. right? Go ahead, Henry. Yeah. Sorry, Ralph, for cutting you, but uh, my answer to that, bro, that's a perfect answer. You say. Hey, Mario said the best. Everybody's different. Mm -hmm. yeah. But will I consider you one of the lucky ones? Yeah, I would because a lot of dudes get treated wrong on that app. And you're just one of the ones that you found a gem. Yeah. Yeah. You found yeah. Jackie. She yeah. likes you for yeah. who you are. And yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. But, hey, answer me this. When you met her personally and she seen the way and everything with the whoop, I bet you felt reassured, didn't you? Yeah. Exactly. So that comes back to my point that, yeah, you know, meet us a little. Look, don't get me wrong. They yeah. didn't have to start good to meet someone. Yeah. yeah. But be ready to have that fallback if you meet them physically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I felt bad so many times yeah. before Jackie, Henry. So many times. I felt Much respect, me. brother. Because Much respect. You, you just don't know. Yeah. So let, let but me, you got to yeah. be, it's, it's about persistence, though. Yes, yeah. sir. What That's are you going to do to, to get totally back up agree. and do that? So I agree. Keep going. So let me keep ask going. you, Javi, since you know, you've been with Jackie, do y'all talk or do y'all text? We talk. She likes to call me. Good okay. Shit. I Good noticed shit. that. I okay. noticed Good that. Shit. She likes to okay. call me. Bro, I'm not a morning person. Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. And every morning that she goes to work and I'm, you know, I'm asleep, 
I have to answer. She's going to call me because she wants to hear my words. And talk see, to see, me. exactly what I'm and, talking about. Bro. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that before. If you told me to do That's that. That's a partner. Last year, two years ago, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to do that. But now it's like. I'm feeling different. I'm feeling good about it, so it's not. It's it, not gonna kill me. It, it's yeah. like a so co- you build you know, a connection, yeah. connection with with somebody, and you you hear them. You can't do that. You hear text. them over the phone. Uh, yeah. Text ain't hey, social what are you media. Doing? Hey, that. what are you doing? It's not Nothing. gonna be enough, no. bro. You got messenger and this and that, Snapchat, yeah. this and that. Yeah, I give I give it to the owner that made that because that's yeah. smart. They use their time yeah. wisely. But we're we're taking it too too more advanced. Too, too. We're not. We're not even at the, we're not even eating at the table of the family no more. Yeah. All you do is on the phone. Everybody's doing their own thing. You can like, send a heartfelt message to a girl how you really want to talk to her, and she could just send a kiss and emoji back. Yeah, yeah. like what kind and of shit is that? You would feel like I'm the moron here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you but don't really, ty- you don't typed up a whole par- yeah. paragraph, and that's yeah. all you get. And, look, and look, what's crazy? She probably is feeling you, yeah. but she was busy and she didn't know how to tell you, so she sent that emoji. But yeah. in your head, now you got a lot yeah. of thoughts running through. Yeah. You're yeah. like, you know, F this chick, whoop, yeah. whoop this, yeah. this and that, and that. So that right there piggybacks what Ralph said. That tech yeah. stuff is cool, yeah. but when you're really feeling a girl, I'm sorry, it's yeah. not cool. Get that number uh, and talk to her. Talk to her, her. Talk to her on and the and phone. And that goes for your yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you're not a morning person, we all know. But when it comes to Jackie, that special one, yeah. you're going to answer that call. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You value that because low-key, you might not say it, but you know that that's why she's yeah, for you because she cares for you. Yeah. No. What girls gonna want to hear your voice? Some girls be like, "Don't write me voice recorded. Don't yeah, want to hear your voice." Yeah. That's all you hear. And you know what? I'm sorry. That and you know, this is a, a message to all the young generation out there. Treat yourself right. Respect yourself because the day you lose that quality in your, you know, and I know we all know what we're saying. Um, guys are gonna look at you different. You become a hoe instead of a, a housewife. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. facts. You can't, oh. you can't convert. So. You can't convert. I mean, you could try to make a guy think you're a housewife, but if a guy hears your past, he's going to be like, I just want that ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to rhyme and be cool yeah. about it, but I'm just saying that's yeah. how I feel about it. Like, value yourself, but us guys, too. We have to start giving these girls a chance you, to you, value. You, yeah, you know and what's funny? Show is respect, man. Show respect yeah. because I'm sorry. Us fellas have to take blame. Some of us be in the moment and we're just horn dogs. Yeah. We just want to yeah. hit. Yeah. Speak, yeah. Speak, speaking of that, yeah. I recently saw on my. We have like, to take fault in our own. Yeah, reaction. recently I saw on my, Facebook, on my Facebook. Yes, sir, bro. Is that um this girl, she she did like a sh- actual like screenshot of this dude, a Mexican dude. <laughs> like he straight up sh- sh- like showed his fucking shit to her on Messenger. And she's like, dude, like, why, why are you sending me that? But Sick. she put she put Damn. him on blast. Sick. She put him on blast. You know what I mean? Damn, like, why, why would you As do she should. that? As yeah. she should. Why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like, that's just... Would fun. you guys do that? Hell no, no right? No, no, no. That's not right. That's not how you do something it, like that. That's it, a problem with social if media, a female, too. If a female... Thank you, Rob. That's a problem no. with social if, media. If, Sorry, Mark, Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, bro. Uh, if a female has, <sighs> like, morals, she was raised right, yeah. she's going to know what's up. She, she's going to tell you, hey, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. If the girl was raised in the wrong way, she's mm. going to... Not Whatever, yeah, fall into temptation, yeah. So, I mean, but what's crazy what he just said, there's some girls that tell the guy that, right? And now the guy gets pissed, and that's where us fellas have to take fault. That yeah. the guy, like, yeah. oh, well, I don't want you, then you know, you, you're not an easy squeezy, you're like a hard, you know, isn't that? Yeah. And it's like, dude, you want a relationship, act like it, yeah. yeah. Why would you want to wife this and give it up on the first night? I mean, of course, if she's fine, you know, you're like, oh, you know, this and that. <laughs> had, but, a couple, had a couple of drinks, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But my point is, make sure you get you somebody that likes you for you without the sex. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you, and, it's, and it feels like, in my opinion, mm. it lasts longer when you earn it, man. Not just like, oh, because I bought you this, now you owe me this. They expect things to come back to you and yes, I, sir and yeah. I, i've been in them shoes i'm not gonna lie to you i felt like nice. because i took you out and i spent a hundred dollars on you now you know what's for me like and i had to learn what am i doing wrong and that's why i had to be persistent to say you know i'm not trying to get out of the soldier man yeah. Yeah. You know? to the bk lounge <laughs> yeah yeah bk but lounge it's, a, it's a simply things that matter though man yeah man. Why, why do you have to take what well, i told somebody mario why do you have to when you tell, when you're talking about a first date, mm. why do you have to spend money on the first date? Why can't I just be a simple walk to the park? Shit, let's now, a, nowadays snow you call. can fucking split it down the middle, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get a snow cone to go to the park. 
Good just talk and know. just talk. Yeah. You, yeah, know? you can both conversate. Yeah. Get off your phone. Like yeah. you know, you, you talk know about what y'all both like. You know what's yeah. funny? You know what's funny is that you know I know you're in a relationship, but I remember you told me years ago. You said you went on a date with some girl, and you went to the movies with her, and you said that she was just constantly on her phone. Yeah. Like what kind of what kind of yeah, crap was I that? Remember he and talked about and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I felt like just leaving her there, man. But yeah. she brought her uh, newborn baby with her. So I guess it kind of cushioned her as to far, how to how I was gonna feel about mm-hmm. that. Much respect, because brother. Because I didn't give yeah. if I didn't give a fuck, man, I would have just left it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're a better man than me. Much yeah. respect. Yeah. Much but, respect. You know, that, definitely, short, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Much short, respect. Short, I already knew what kind of person she was. She was a gold digger because the first thing she did when we first walked in there, she goes, "Hey, I'm hungry." Just looked at me in my eye, man. Hey, I'm hungry. Sh- you better go eat you some meat. Okay, okay. well, did, did you bring those thing. packed sandwiches I told you about? <laughs> so, you know, I did, cheese. You know, I thought I did the right thing by beginning or something, but it's like she didn't really appreciate that. But mm-hmm. when she was texting, that told me that she wasn't into me. That like she yeah. just wanted. Uh-huh. Just to uh, well, piggyback on what he just said, he said, you know how earlier he said, Earn it. Don't let it go on the first night. No. Mm. You should feel like that for one reason. If she lets you hit on the first night, how many guys has she has oh, not done exactly. that with? You know yeah, what I'm that's saying? Because I'm sorry. She's always going to go out with that one guy that has more to you. Yeah. And that just always yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. life. That's so true. that guy that had that big bankroll, if you hit it with your bankroll, you don't think he did more? Yeah. Come on now. So, I mean, you want that as a wife? Yeah. And that don't, that don't not a chance. That, that don't but what's crazy is that now wife material is getting rare. In this lifetime, like now, it's all about WAP dot, and I mean, that's cool and all if you're trying to hit it and quit it. But when you want to settle down, like Ralph said, mm. this time and this technology, and I, I'm sorry to curse, but it fucked everything up, dude. Like, you don't know if this girl's here with you for your looks or for your bank account. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny because even Mario, like, let's go to the host here. So, Mario, you've been married for how long, man? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Congrats, okay. Congrats. So, oh, appreciate. do you guys like normally? Let's say you go to work and she's at home. Let's say like, do y'all just always talk to each other, like call each other on the phone, or nah, when you're on break, or she, she's um, I love I love Jay Liz, man. Yeah. She's she's fucking Facts. a blessing. Mm-hmm. She's a blessing, bro. She's there, attentive. Uh, come lunchtime, my food is right there, bro. She she'll cook me up a good meal. Shit, good yeah. shit. She'll cook yeah. me up uh, whatever, man. And uh, if I'm looking like I'm stressed or yeah. going through some shit, cause I got uh, she's I, there I, with I work, you, right? Yeah, she's there. Yeah. Right, she's yeah. right there with me. I work yeah. from home for anybody who doesn't know. Okay, and uh, she sees me stressed out because I work with customers on the computer, and sometimes. Then people begin on me, though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, short story, uh, long story short, she'll help me relax. She'll give me a little back rub. Mm. She'll make me laugh. It, she may not know this, but I appreciate those little things. Though. Yeah, that's the why. Little things. Yeah. The little why. things that yeah. a lot of people don't realize. Those, those, those are, are the major things. That those are the little things that count, bro. Yeah. The little yeah. things you take for granted. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes I think that I, I might, it's my fault. I think that I might make her feel like I take them for granted. And, uh, you know, I apologize to her for that if sometimes I might not tell her enough that, you know, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thank you for all these things that you do. And but you, you tell her, bro. Like but you should, but at, yeah, the end, yeah. at the end of the day, I do go ahead and show her I love her. Yeah. I try to, you know, tell her all these positive words. Put some inspiration in her heart, and mm. you, you know? tell her you don't text her, and that yeah, goes yeah, 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 exactly. Nah. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, yeah. even, even, when you, even when you started dating... And what y'all do? Do y'all talk on the phone or do y'all text a lot? Talk. She, talk? She, okay. She she's the main one who who put it in my head. Hey, let's let, let's call over the phone. Mm-hmm. You know, let's not text because yeah. she's not. You know, she doesn't like it. It's sad because like what Henry was saying, all these emojis they got that in your keyboard. So all you yeah. gotta do is just type, just press one, and it does the face for you. But looking at the real thing is what really matters because you really know how the people feel. Nowadays, when people get offended. When you answer them to something that might be offensive, you got to add the letters L-O-L after yeah. everything you type in order yeah. to tell them that I'm not trying to be serious yeah. with you. We're just playing. Like, we're good. Mm-hmm. That's sad. But it's, it's not being real, yeah. though. That, yeah, that's that's, a, not, that's, that's not, a problem, though. That's not authentic. That's not the way you're supposed to share your feeling with somebody 
texting. Yeah. yeah. Here's their voice. Just like Ron said, here's their voice. Get to know them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. When I used to call girls, man, they didn't like my deep voice. So they used to say, damn, dude, you sound like I'm one of my dad's friends, man. Don't call me no more. Click. And uh, that's what I was getting. Like, okay, you know, I couldn't do it. I, they wanted to text. So I'm like, how far can you get with texting? Yeah. Yeah. It's like one in a million, man. Like, yeah, let's meet. Don't call me, but tell me where you at or, you know. Where yeah, you that's know? trash. That's trash, man. Street. That's trash. Yeah. So, you know, that's just my input she on that, man. belongs to the street. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you hear all the, when, you, when you're on the phone, you can hear all the, the yeah. highs, yeah. the lows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your, your voice, you know, you you, it's a difference. You can tell when that sound happy, when that sound, yeah. you know. Yeah. One thing, look, and again, you know, this is a PG-13 channel, so I'm going to keep it as simple as I, I can. <laughs> nah, you can go ahead, go <laughs> all rated, bro. that I'm going to be honest with you, man, is you got to show these girls, you're a man, too. Like, you can't let your ego fall because she's bad. No, no, no. Show her you're the shit, too, even yeah. though she might not see yeah. it. Like, be like, no, I ain't going to do no LOL. And if you don't want to talk, oh, well, <laughs> kick rocks. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, yeah. I don't know. Like, I see it as, and you know what? That's something God probably blessed me with, and I hope you guys got it, too, that I, I don't give a fuck bone. Like, yeah. I see it as, like, you want to leave me? Okay, go by. Like, yeah. I ain't going to cry over yeah, you. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. plenty of fish in the yeah, sea. Yeah. And you just weren't the one that caught the bait. Yeah. You the one that got to skate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you don't want to got to go and hopefully you yeah. fall when you hit yeah. the ice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my point is this, like, I've learned over the years that if you let a girl get in your head a lot that's not right for you, you'll suffer and you'll stress. Yeah. Yeah. But do I think that's why I'm single now? And do I think that's why I probably don't got a wife? Yeah, I do. I admit I do. Because I feel like my I built this persona in me where I don't take her seriously. She's just something I want to get in and get out. You know how to be like, yeah. get it in like Flynn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my point is this. I wish I had what you guys have that you know, you're trying to meet a girl. But Javi made a good point. If she's over here not looking at you while you took her to the movies, that's being ungrateful yeah. for one. Yeah. And then two, she's like, oh, I'm hungry. No, hey, well, you better have a WIC card. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you better go eat something. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Yeah. My point is this: is Ralph made a good point too. Mm. If you're not willing to talk to me, that means you're not really willing to walk with me yeah. down that aisle when it comes to yeah. say I do. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're just a text freak. Yeah. You're a text freak that uh, wants to get money from me, and I'm not with that. Yeah, I was, I was just a tool for her to just go out. She didn't want to be. Look at you now, though. Yeah. You have Jackie, yeah. and that's yeah. love. So when I look at Much that, respect. when I look yeah. at that, it, it taught me. You tell me, you it know what? I don't, I don't need that, man. That's that. God puts people and things in your life for a reason, man. And mm. that's something you got to realize. Learn from your mistake. Why isn't it working out? Because you're doing the same thing over and over. You're letting them run you because they look like this, because they look yep. good like that. So don't let that be, man. And that's that's one thing that we got to realize. We got to appreciate the little things, man. And know? this goes back to what we were talking about the other day. That do you choose a five or a dime? Because a dime could waste your time, but a five would be a wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. Yeah. But yeah. there's been cases where the five thinks she a dime, and a dime really is worth your time. Yeah. yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So it's just very. Uh, you just you don't, don't know. know. You, just you, don't you know. gotta You got to spend time with that person, man. Basically, you got to get to know that person from everything. Their lows, their highs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to build a connection, yeah. man. You got to have so, that connection. You gotta talk. To, keyword talk. That's hundred percent agree. hundred yeah. percent agree. Yeah. And if you got somebody who's on the social media channels all yep. the time, you're gonna yep. have a hard time yeah. trying to build a connection. Yeah. So like uh if we started off with this uh, topic, man, mm. social media can be it can have its ups yeah. and it has its downsides, yeah, but you're using it the in the right way, like uh Henry was talking about, you can make a lot out of it, man. Yeah. And that's uh really Really positive thing that yeah. at least that I can take away from it. I'm gonna use it for yeah. positive things. Yeah, good I'm shit. Not, good I'm shit. not gonna be out here trying to spread uh, bullshit like yeah. hate or or in all kinds of injustice type of stuff. Mm. I want to try to be out here sp- trying to spread positive messages. You know, yeah. no. reach for your goals. Yeah. Learn what you can. Be about your family. Be about your loved ones. Lose that weight. Yeah, lose yeah. that weight, man. I got, I got that that weight, bro. So. <laughs> Try to achieve all your goals, man. Just don't let time fly by. You ain't done nothing because mm. you're stuck on social media. Mm. At the same time, use social media to reach your goals, but don't let it take over your life, man. And, uh, and that's why people put themselves on the line on YouTube all day, every day as well, to help other people out that 
that have been through the same thing because we might think that we're the only ones in the world that deal with this and that but there's so many people out there and that's why I give so much love to YouTube and social media because there's people out there that care and say you know what if you've been through that I'm going to tell you my experience and you take it from there and I'm mm -hmm. teaching you that social media does a lot for you what does the, what does the news do for you it only just shows all the negative shit oh two three people got shot and killed this and that but yeah Think about don't they, don't, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't do the positive. positive. They don't yeah. do the positive. That's their goal. Their goal is to have ratings. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's sad, man. Yeah. You gotta. Uh, the good thing about social media is that there are so many people, dude, out there yeah. that share all these good, positive things, man. And that's what I love, man. I love watching these motivational type of uh, YouTubers, uh, Instagrammers, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I try to look for those positive people, man. I follow them, subscribe. I don't uh, like the fake ones, bro. Let's trade nah, up. Nah, you, you can tell who's like fake, fake, bro. Yeah, yeah. No. You can you can tell who's fake no. like right off the the bat, bro. And Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let me clarify on that. I hate Mayweather to the bone. I do too. And I mean, I hate him. He's a runner. Everybody likes to say he bobs and weaves. That's not weaving. That's running. Yep. Because if you're in a prison cell, you don't got time to run around the ring like that. You'll yeah. get your ass knocked out. But my point is this. Do I hate Jake Paul? Yeah, I don't like him either because he thinks he's all that. So do I hope Mayweather knocks him out? I do. But now that I'm, I'm really thinking about it, I actually hope the YouTuber knocks this guy out. Because <laughs> how embarrassing would it be you're 50 and 0 but and you, you lose to a YouTuber? You know, it's funny. <laughs> that will ruin He, he used it. He used it for, for, Mar for, for Mario's question. He used that platform. He used YouTube. Social media. To get himself big. Yeah, you know. That's why I give pointers to social media because mm -hmm. it does it does do a lot for people nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. People that actually take advantage for it for their better. A quick better question. Themselves. Do you think people who are pedophiles, rapists and all that, should they be banned from social media? I totally agree with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man, hands down. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I'm I sorry. I hate that when I be on social media, I see a sixteen year old put a pic or eighteen year old, and even though I'm not looking, it pops up on my timeline. You see on the comments when especially if you have a good Wi Fi. Mm. An old guy put in beautiful, or and isn't I'm like, dude, you can have a daughter that age. What is your problem? Yeah. But my point is this, and again, back to the whole topic, is how you use social media. If you're gonna yep. be a stalker weirdo, you deserve to get sentenced, and you, just, I mean, you don't get what's coming to you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you use social media to get rich and do right hey by all means brother yeah. go ahead you're gonna have the community built around you that's gonna help you achieve that yeah. and, and yeah. i hope that all of that shit comes javi made a real great point bro hey i comes around what to you everybody. said was on the yeah. money and mario you hey i appreciate you for letting me having a channel dude for, i mean for letting me be on the channel let's run them views yeah. up get them likes well, up subscribe <laughs> to, to let you know right now man social media much love man because when mario told me about the podcasting deal I said, why not, man? When you when you ask yourself, how would you want to change the world? If somebody came up to you and said, hey, bro, how would you want to change the world? Put my voice out there, man. Put my experience Wisdom. out there. Put yeah. my people can't afford stuff like this, so they need people to help them out. And Life say, stories. Start slow. Start basic. Use your phone just like everybody else. Start basic and just go from there. And people get rich off of that, man. And this is about taking the time to, to, to take that step. I like me, I don't like it the way I sound on the microphone, but did that stop me from buying this and that? No, I didn't, man. And it's fun. I like it. It's something new in the world, and it's it's going to definitely grow, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Javi, okay. but guess what, dog? How many people have you probably inspired through your experiences, your podcasts, uh, all your episodes, you've probably inspired yeah, so many people, yeah. bro. Yeah, and some, some people have hit me up trying to do an interview with me, man. That's yeah. nice. And see, that yeah. it spreads, bro. Yeah, that's and, good. And yeah. that's a positive thing you're doing in, in yeah. your life for yeah. other people, bro. Yeah. And that, that's what I've always wanted to help y'all understand. Yeah, I yeah. might have not been here to record a lot of podcasts, yeah. but I hope you have learned that yeah, you all and, and, can make a difference. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's funny because you, you actually you gave me the motivation to do it yeah. because I remember I remember Javi was telling me you know, hey uh, Mario wants to do some podcasts. I'm like, okay, I never never yeah. done that shit. My, I never done that shit yeah. before. And yeah, I know you haven't made a lot of videos recently, but you know you gave me the motivation to keep going. So you know, yeah. so yeah. basically he's the one that made the difference for both of us. Yeah, man, yeah. you know, so yeah. it's something yeah. fun. I definitely am happy that I invested in it, and it's not. 
I'm not going to go away anytime soon because when I finish my house over here, I'm definitely going to buy a <laughs> podcast table and yeah. I want to put my initial and your initial on your side of the table and where you oh, want to yeah. sit. Nobody's <laughs> going to take mine. So yeah. And it goes from there. It's about oh, yeah. investing. You know, use your time wisely and mm. just, you know, do it right, man. Yeah, oh, right. yeah baby. That, that's what's up, man. We got a lot of stuff coming down yeah. the yeah. 2021. 2021, man. 2022. 2020. 2020 sucks. 2020 sucks straight up. We're going to come back to New year. New year, baby. We're going to come back with y'all with video, yeah. more video yeah. episodes. But you know come what, on. man? The shout out to the world, though, man. Everybody that experienced covid 2020 you can look at it the way you want man look at it again like this a lot of us fail but 2021 mm. a lot of us are getting back up man and we yeah, keep going we're man. pushing we're still here so yeah hey man uh i mean for the world who sees this and knows these rappers i mean probably some of my own you know my co-hosts won't know it but rest in peace king vaughn rest in peace little lonnie rest in peace little snoop these were guys that were taken before their time because they used social media for a good cause. They mm-hmm. got views, they got rich, and they got taken out of life early by a hating dude. I'm not going to say the other words because that's how I really feel. But my point yeah. is this. Again, and this foster social media. You can make it in social media, but social media will be the reason why you get taken out of this life. Yeah, okay. yeah. A lot of these young rappers, they think by trading sneak this or taking shots on social media, that's cool. And I'm going to be honest. Back in my day... Again, I'm a 1993 baby, September 11. I'm a tragedy. Anyway, um, <laughs> again, back in my day, if you had a problem with me, we're not going to get on Instagram and exchange shots. I'm going to pull up to your house and we're going to fight in that street and see how it ends. <laughs> fist is fist. My point is this. Too many people are acting like Debo, rest in peace, behind that screen. Yeah. And when it comes to, you know, when I see you, I'm going to see you. That's when consequences happen. And again, rest in peace to Kevon. Rest in peace to Lil Snoop. Rest in peace to Lil Lion. Yeah, but but you great said he minds. made it. He made it, though. He made it through. Great uh, minds. There were legends in his game at a young age, but they got taken out by a hating ass social media dude that just didn't like what they were posting on Instagram. They were mad because this guy was on and you're not. I'm sorry. Yeah. In my time, if you're hating on your homeboy because he's making it. You're jealous. You've been dating. You're not a homeboy. You've been hating since snake. day one. You're a rat. You yeah. deserve to get stomped on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, Mario, I'm I, I, and to all you know, and hey, to all the viewers, I, I, I'm yeah. not trying to get aggressive, but that goes back to social media. It all depends how you use social yeah. media. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you're gonna get on social media and post a sneak this about this guy, you best believe you're gonna have a response. Yeah. But again, they're 80 babies. I'm a early 90s baby, and back in our time, you had a problem with me. See you at school, brother. <laughs> See you yeah. outside your house on the bike. Yeah. I'm going to go to your bike and knock on your house, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, shout out to yeah. Root of All Real, Roar. Yeah. Running Thanks views up. Get them likes. Subscribe. <laughs> hey, shout out Out the Blue. Shout out Gray Room. Running <laughs> views up. Like, subscribe. And don't waste my damn time. For sure. Henry checking out, baby. Oh, appreciate you, Henry. Henry checking out, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. I had to, because I'm sorry for like... <laughs> So uh, that was my boy Henry, man. That that boy speaking love, some wisdom. Much love. much love to him, man. Uh, Javi, you want to say some closing words here, brother? Give your social yeah, media. Uh, to everybody out there listening, man. Again, I appreciate y'all listening. Uh, like Mario said earlier, we're definitely coming back. This is just the beginning. Uh, I personally am on episode 14. My cousin's been on episode 15. Yeah. Getting his stuff back together, man. And... Uh, we're definitely coming back hard, man, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're, we're also doing this to let you guys know that we're not going to come to offend anybody. We come to appreciate what we have, and we're trying to share share the experiences and share our opinions in yeah. a good way. And hopefully everybody out there takes their time and realize that we're out here. Everybody's out there to help you. No, you're not alone. If you feel like you're alone, reach out. Max, Max. Reach out, and we'll, we'll definitely put into anything that you guys want to talk about. So much love. Yeah. Happy New Year and peace. Yeah. Go ahead. Shout out to my boy Ralph one time, man. Good guy. <laughs> great guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion. Shout out to yeah. Javi. He's like yeah. a brother. Shout out to Mario. That's another brother. And hey, man. Appreciate shout it. out to Abdon on over there on the couch asleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, again, hey, but hey, man. Um, Back to what I said, man. Hey, just use social media in the right way. We're in 2021. We're trying to start this year the right way, yeah. not the wrong way. And I mean, 
if you're still beefing with yourself, just take one look in the mirror and be like, how can I be better? Yeah. And if you have stress, I hate to say this, man, but you have to suck up your own pride and go see a therapist. There's free therapy out there. You just got to look for it. You might not like the circumstances, but I guarantee you after some months, you'll see improvement. Oh, yeah. I and mean, um, you can do different stuff, man. You can. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so. Go ahead, Ralph. Take it. Uh, Real quick, I will be back pretty soon for Out of the Blue Podcast. I sh- it's been a long time. I just beat COVID. I'm good. Thank God I didn't get the the Blessings. bad symptom. You know what I mean? So I'm still here. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's probably about it, man. No, it's going to be 2021, man. New year. It's going to be awesome. So Awesome, man. Look appreciate, forward. Appreciate you, Ralph. Mm. Appreciate Javi here, my boy Ralph, mm. Henry. I appreciate you, brother. Much love to all these brothers right here, yeah. man. I appreciate all the listeners that are going to be tuning into this episode, man. We're going to do a lot of stuff, a lot of positive stuff, man. We're going to try to uh, spread all this uh, positive uh, message out to everybody, man. Whoever wants to subscribe, we appreciate y'all. To all the haters, we love y'all too, regardless, man. Yeah. Run them views up, haters. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Yeah, man. And uh, I look. You hate us because you ain't us. <laughs> no, but hey, man. Serious note: like, subscribe, and comment to my boy Mario. Page. Yeah, we we're gonna have uh, our links to our social media accounts on Definitely. the uh, yes, description. Yes, sir. I'm gonna pull, post all the social media links to all these boys, mm. and uh, everybody, uh, stay tuned for all the future episodes coming up, man. And yeah. uh, much love to y'all. Peace. 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 Peace.